Um, is that what our quest is? Oh yeah, you died. Yeah, I completely forgot about that. Ah, we've got a new mole now. Who needs you? Okay, so welcome back to more Banjo Tooie. I'm Dark Minded Sith. Time for more backtracking. So to start things off, I'm in the mood for more cheating. And Cheeto's in the mood for more pages. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn in five more pages. And our next cheat is Honeyback. Hmm. Our long lost lover. We can finally get her back. No, that's not it. Let's go show off what Honeyback does. Or he'll tell us. That's right. In case you really suck at the game, Honeyback will slowly replenish your health over time. And you know what? That'll make this game just too dosh, gosh darn easy, so... Yeah, we're not gonna have that turned on, but I will show it off just to show it off. So... Come on, stop trying to hit me and hit me. HIT ME! Okay. So, you take some damage. And with that cheat activated, it slowly replenishes. So, yeah. If you thought fallproof made the game too easy... So yeah, let's uh, let's keep that off. I mean, I suck, but I don't suck that much. Okay, our next stop is Humble Wumba here, and we're gonna switch back to this creepy dragon thing. Why I don't know. But, yeah, listen to that. It's just God, it just sounds sick. Okay, so we're gonna roll with the dragon for a little while, and our next backtracking stop is here in Jolly Rogers Lagoon. Let's head down into the basement, where he keeps all the real alcohol. And a Jiggy, that's been staring at us for quite a while. That Jiggy, way over at that gap. It just really looks like you could maybe reach it if you, like, just reached up and tried hard enough, but... Uh. But no, with our new glide move, there we go, that Jiggy is finally ours. But, I haven't really had a chance to show this off. The Clockwork Kazooie Eggs can actually really, really break this game. You can actually shoot a lot of the Clockwork Kazooie Eggs up to different ledges and just get Jiggies and Cheeto Pages left and right if you really want to. So, what I just showed there a bit ago, you can actually have gotten to that Jiggy quite some time ago, right after getting the Clockwork Kazooie Eggs, but... So there's a lot of things you can get in this game by using that, but... Eh, I'm, I'm a very precise guy. It just, it just doesn't feel right. If I do it that way. And, you know, maybe I need the honey back cheat. My goodness, I got hit like three times by that guy. Okay, so we're here in the ancient swimming baths. Earlier I showed exactly how to get here, because there's just like four different places down here. Alright, switching back over to the hideous dragon. And we've got yet another thing we can glide to. And that is up there, another Cheeto page. Yay, I love not being loyal. And to show this off again, Clockwork Zooey Egg goes right up there. Yeah. So for those of you who really, really want to cheat, and suck, you can do that and have the honey back cheat on. I'm just kidding around. Play how you want. Okay, back to Grunny Industries, everyone's favorite level in the world. We're gonna go all the way down here to the air conditioning plant. This is gonna be quite a little bit of me just walking, because I want to show exactly where this is. We had another Jiggy that stared at us in the face, but we couldn't quite get it. All the way down here. After defeating Weldar, the fan stopped. We can go all the way here in the waste disposal plant. Previously, we tried to go into this toxic waste. No matter what, we got launched in the air and it hurt really badly. 
But now with our new shack pack... Toxic waste is no longer a threat. Boy oh boy, Banjo's backpack. What can it not do? I can imagine he... Maybe one day is going to use it for college textbook carrying and it's just going to be like, nope, too heavy and it's just going to rip open. And because I'm a jerk. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a nice guy. <laughs> okay, so that's that Jiggy. And now, speaking of Jiggies, let's open up the next world. So, I got a little bit of something to show and I figured, why not? If you go to the little mole hills or silos where you learn how to use an egg, he will restock it all the way up. So, it's particularly useful if you're low on, say, grenade eggs or clockwork kazooie eggs. I ended up getting pretty low on clockwork kazooie eggs, and stocking up there where you learn how to use them can be pretty useful because when you go around and get ammo for clockwork kazooie eggs, it only allows you to get one at a time. And and that's, that's just me. If I've learned anything from video games by now, especially Zelda, it's that when it comes to ammo, the game will constantly give you what you don't need, and then it'll do vice versa. Like, if you need a bunch of hearts, it'll constantly give you rupees. If you really need rupees, it'll constantly give you hearts. It's like the game intentionally gives you a bunch of crap you don't need, and then intentionally doesn't give you what you do need. I don't like video games. Okay, so that's challenge eight. And now the great one will open a doorway, because he's so amazing. I actually quite like this cutscene, I like what it does. It's just cool the way it travels like that. It's like first person view of a ride or something. And this is actually back in the wasteland. What is here? Uh, this is taking a while. This is going to be really good. He kept us waiting for a bubble. Yay, a bubble. Hmm. I don't know. I I, I quite like that one. <laughs> I I guess I just love how you go through that big cutscene and it's like this big epic build up and just a bubble appears. <laughs> That's it. He doesn't move a mountain or anything, just... Okay, here's a bubble. But, that bubble's gonna be very handy. Because we can queue... Quay... QA here... To go up to the clouds. Using that bubble... We will head up to World 8. And we're taking it to the skies. Next time, on Let's Play banjo to me. Mrs. Puff? Oh, she's married. Oh no, Mr. Krabs. She's single. Then what happened to Mr. Puff? She doesn't like to talk about it.